Margaret, too, last year. Yeah. We prayed and a lot of good had done. No luck, no sponges, and now we got no money to buy gear. Silence, blasphemer. Oh, who cares about St. Margaret? Will she help us if Savannah takes our boat away? Fool! Imbecile! Accursed one! Pray to St. Margaret for forgiveness. Let me go! Pray, pray. Dr. Margarita, I pray, I pray. Absolvo mio, save us from the evil one. Deliver us from Savannah. I've been meaning to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with you for some time. Well, if it's about money... Well, it is and it isn't. It's mostly about your daughter. Rosa? How many daughters have you? Only Rosa. Ha, 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 you old rascal. Well, it may surprise you to know that I've had a weather eye on Rosie for quite some time. You, Mr. Savannah? Listen, Mike. I'm not proud even if I do own this town. And I come right to the point about things. That's why I am what I am. I want to marry Rosie. Well, I don't know. Rosie's mighty funny about some things. Where is Rosie now? Out somewhere. Our children here don't mind like they do in the old country. You never know where they are or what they are doing. <laughs> I could if I tried. Oh, yes, you could. Maybe I don't want to get away from it. Yeah. I am not 45 yet. And what's my age got to do with it? I don't know how she'll take it. You know I loaned you $2,000, don't you? Do you think I let you have it on these uh, security? You bet I didn't. It was on account of her, Rosie. You got to make her listen. You mean unless Rosie marries... Use your own judgment. The day the bands are published for our wedding, I'll tear up all your notes. And... But Mr. Crockett, this scene is worth over 10000 Old Tropolopolis only wants so we can go back to the old country. Now, for only 3000 Oh, I have too much money tied up in boats now, Joe. Any reasonable point. 
You hold a sponge auction every year, and you know that this one triple more than square me up. I hear that story every year, Joe, from some young ones to get married. The kids. I know, and your father before you. He died on the bank, didn't he? Yes, sir, but with modern equipment, it's different. Why, this book got all kinds That of... boat is a hoodoo, Joe. That's why Tropolopolis is willing to let it go so cheap. Oh, surely a businessman like you don't believe in jinxes. Well, I'm not superstitious, but I'm careful. I've seen too many things happen. Then you... you can't see it? No, not a chance. Sorry, Joe. That's all right, Mr. Fox. But I'm going to get that money somewhere. Savannah, please don't take our boat. We had tough luck last time out. Our pump broke, our seams leaked, and the engine went bad. That's why we come back before we get the load. But this time we stay out until time for the auction. We get plenty sponge. Then you can pay? If you'll give us an That's extension. not the way I do business. I am taking your boat. Today. Wait. I don't want to be hard on you. You haven't got a job. So how would you like to roll the boat for me and share it? How much share we get? One hit. Hit? Together. No. Shut your mouth. We take it. After all, we've got to live. She went a little bit. She must scratch my eyes out. She says she's going to marry Joe Bethel. On what? I don't know. She says he's going to buy a boat. He's leaving tomorrow. And there is only one sponge boat for sale. The Athena. Where would he get six thousand dollars? No, no, don't ask me. I don't know. Hello, Joe. Hello. Have a smoke. No, thanks. I never use them. Tobacco's bad for a diver, you know. Oh, yeah. Of course. What's the matter? Don't you feel well? Who, me? Why, I never felt better in my life. Yeah, you ought to feel swell. I would if I were you. Only somehow you don't look like a prospective bridegroom. <laughs> Who told you? Maybe it was a little fish. Quit your kid. I know it's rosy, and I think you're a lucky kid, Joe. Well, maybe I ain't so lucky. Anyhow, things ain't working out so good. What's the matter? What's wrong, kid? I want to buy the Athena. I've been over trying to borrow the money from Mr. Crockett. That sounds like a good investment. Why didn't you come to me? Why, well, I thought that you'd want too big a bonus. Not for you, Joe. You are the best diver in the fleet. Besides, I have a soft spot in my heart for Rosie. I want Rosie to be happy. Well, that's swell of you, Mr. Savannah. If I don't go out with the fleet tomorrow, I'll have to wait another year. You don't have to wait. Come on in and let's talk it over. You're gonna have... Joe, you changed your name. You christened her after me. It's a beautiful name. And it'll bring me luck, too. How'd you manage it, Joe? I thought... Come on, let's before. take a look. Let me 
That's what you call an engine. None of your converted tractors, but the latest thing in D. She kicks over 150 horsepower and makes 12 knots. Two complete diving suits, a kedge anchor forward, and a 255 mud hook, too. Reconditioned Navy type pump. The crew's fine, supplies are aboard, and we're ready to sail. Joe, where did you, you get You see, she only draws five and a half feet. Joe, where did you get that money? Huh? You heard me. Where did you get that other $3,000? Oh, that was easy. I just went out and borrowed it. Now, these deck timbers are made of second tell ghost white Tell me this old. instant where you got that money. I promise not to tell. And besides, what difference does it make? You got it from Savannah. I tried everywhere else, Rosie. Oh, Joe. Savannah. When you know he wants this boat, you know he always gets what he goes after. There's nothing he can do. I've got the boat. I'll be the first one in with full hatches for the auction. I'll pay him off then. Oh, Joe, I'm afraid. Terribly afraid. Don't be foolish, dear. You should have seen how good he treated me. Why, he even gave me the money without a bonus. Theo Savannah's never gives something for nothing. Shopper and the serpent, too, is a disobedient child. I never thought my own flesh and blood would... Send me to the poor house. You do as I say, and you won't ever be poor. You just tell me what, Mr. Savant. Give me a drink, Mike. Did you get the job? He's giving me one ten. You're getting more than shares for this job, Nick. But you better use your brain. Oh, hello. Good luck, Nick. Hello, Rosita, darling. Rosita, without the darling, to you, Mr. Savannah. You're not very grateful for favors, Rosie. That all depends upon what you call a favor. If you think I don't know why you gave Joe that money, you're crazier than I think you are. Then why don't you get him to give it back? You know very well it's too late. Joe wouldn't do that. And if you try any monkey business on him, you'll wish you'd never been born. Let's go down the wall. Come on, Mike. Rosie, take care of the place. All right. Take care of the store, Rosie. Come on, Ellie. Come on, Ellie. Come on, Ellie. She's running away with Joe. She's on that boat. Well, what can I do? Get her off. Oh, yes, but I don't... You'll get her off or else. Oh, no, Mr. Savannah. I'll send Simmons with you. You can get them before they get over to the lagoon. Use the speedboat. Yes, but Mr. Savannah... Come on. Now, listen. Now, wait a minute, Mr. Savannah. Now, wait a minute, Mr. Savannah. I don't want to go down there. Listen, I don't... Oh, no! Come on now, Mr. Savannah. Now wait, Mr. Savannah. I'll wait. Timus, bring that girl back here. Okay, boys. Room. Every basket of sponge that comes up means that I'll be that much closer to you. Send word by one of the other boats how you're getting on. Maybe you can write. And there won't be time for that. I'm going to be the first boat in with full hatches. You'll be careful, won't you, Jim? There isn't a thing to worry about, honey. It's been blessed, Joe. Santa Margarita.
all right. Go on, breathe. I thought so. Come on. Now, Rosie. Hey, were you taking Puff on a picnic? Or did Savannah send you out to take me off Joe's book? and Rocky Bottom. We're over the bank. Lower the mud hook. Joe, come here, quick. What's wrong, Tony? What's going on? Let me out. What's the matter now? Lost anchor. Tough, Joe. Hard luck. That's a rotten break. Well, what are you going to do? This chain hasn't rusted. It's practically new. It's been eaten away with some kind of acid. What are you going to do now? We can use the kedge anchor. The kedge? Hey, how do you get that way? If you think I'm going down below with nothing but a kedge to hold this bottom, you're nuts. That's right, Joe. You can't take a chance. You know these bottom currents here. If the Rosita ever starts to drift, yeah. it'll be the same thing as murder. We're going into Black Key and get another anchor. That means we lose more time. This tub is certainly the jinx. I didn't even see him.
silence down. Where's that line, Scopin? When this craft ever puts anything away. <laughs> chin chin's trick, huh, Cargus? Just run down. Forty-five minutes will be enough for the old boy. He looked bad this morning. How'd you do? What are you doing? Best so far. I got eight muskets. That's fine, Nick. We got to do better. We've been out for eight weeks and only have half a load. Well, <laughs> it looks like we all lose. If we could only get over a good sponge bed for a couple of days, we fill open them hatches. Stop the pump! What's the matter? King Jin's air stop coming up! Try the pump! Slow! How is it? She's hardly turning over, Joe. He's coming up! There he is! When? Under it! Are you crazy? What are you trying to do, murder him? Well, I think maybe he was already dead. He would be if you opened that up too quick. You know better than that. Oh, well, I was excited. There's a bottle under my bunk, Coffin. I've stood all I can. This boat is hoodooed. If I were you, I wouldn't go down again if the bottom was covered with gold. That goes for me, Nick. Me too. My wife told me not to ship on this boat. <coughs> what happened, Tin Tin? Now, just tight. I don't can open it. I guess I'm too old, Joe. I don't can anymore. Old Tin Tin's in bad shape, Sculpin. You get him out of his suit and into the tender. Throw him over to the Aethos boys' boat. They're going in tonight. He won't dive again for a long time. Hey, look, Joe! We've been out for eight weeks. One thing after another's happened. We've called them accidents. But that's no accident. Someone jammed that spring deliberately. This boat is hoodoo. Sure it is. Ah, oh, that hoodoo stuff is a bunk. If there's a jinx on this boat, it's got two legs. I don't know which one of you did this, 
But I'm going to work this boat from now on like you were all guilty. Not me. This boat is a curse. I want to go ashore. You're going to stay and you're going to work. <laughs> Any more of you asking for it? I ask no man to do anything that I wouldn't do. I'm taking over Chin Chin's trick. And for every hour that you put in, Nick, I'll put in two. Joe, you sure got them jumping through hoops, but you gotta watch them. You'll have to keep an eye to windward, Sculpin, while I'm down. I'm a dead shot. Did I ever tell you about the time I killed a whale with one bullet? <laughs> yes. See that you do as well if there's any funny business. Blow me down if I don't. Start the pump. Good work, Nick. Nice sponge you set up. Yeah, not bad. Well busted. Fathoms under. Yeah. All oh, number one little sponge. Pretty good. Do you know how Joe does it? He's got some trained crabs down there working for him. Thank you. 
Yeah. Has anybody got a bottle? Just now. Get me some ham and eggs. Ham and eggs, Pop. Make it snappy. All right. Did you see Joe? No, I didn't see him. We brought old Chin Chin in with the bends, and he told me plenty. There hasn't been a day that something hasn't happened. Smashed gear, leaky seams, busted anchor chain. He's moved all over the banks like a jinx was after him. Poor Joe. He ain't got a chance. It's the same sort of stuff that happened to our boat a year ago. Now Savannah's got our boat. Thanks, Asus, for telling me. Come in the back door. Rosita, come in. Oh, come on. This certainly is an unexpected pleasure. I've been talking things over with Pop. You're beginning to be sensible, Rosie. I guess you're a bigger man than I had any idea. You always get what you go after, don't you? Sure, I use my brain. I never lose my head. I guess you're right. What about Joe? Joe? I'm sore at him. He never sent me any word when the Aces folk came in tonight. I heard the Rosita put in a key. And there is many nice looking girls there. And when a young fellow like Joe has been at sea for a long time, he forgets, you know, a girl in every port. You don't want your Rosie. He can't give you what you ought to have. I can. If I could only believe you really love me. Could I want to marry you if I didn't? If I was only sure I'd marry you before Joe comes back to the auction, just to spite. He wouldn't even be back for auction day. What makes you so sure? I got a man on board his boat. You'll marry me, Rosie. I'll tell you tomorrow noon. I want time to think. I'll come to the coffee shop. I'll be waiting. My kiss, Rosie. Please. Are you afraid of me? No, I'm afraid of myself. But tomorrow... She's clearing up. The pump was full of sand. Blow me down if it wasn't. Looked like it was done on purpose. It must have been. Where's Nick? Nick? It's your trick below. I ain't going down. I'm afraid. After what happened to you, sand in the pumps, this boat is jinxed. I ain't going down, I tell you. The pumps have been cleaned. Get into yourself. Not for you or anybody else.
All right. I'll go. Joe, you better get some rest. Did I ever tell you about my cruise on the Albatross? What's that? Whoever it is, they're coming fast. about your trouble, Joe, and I know who's doing it. Who is it? Nick Samos. I saw him at Savannah's the day you left. Where is he? On the bottom. I wish he'd never come up. Rosie, never say a thing like that. It might come true. Besides, I've beaten Savannah. My hatches are full. Joe! Oh, Joe, I'm so glad. Pull up! When I pull, he no move. Now, Bubba, stop! Something wrong. Joe, my wish. Gotham, get a line on that wrench. Can he make it?
Servants! And the pumps! Are you all right, Joe? All right, get over here, please. He'll be all right. Ain't love grand? Did I ever tell you about me eighth wife? Yeah. yeah! Well, my lad, she was one of the finest men. Well, how do I look? You look gorgeous, boy. Just like a king or something that was going to his wedding. We ain't open for business today. I had a date with Rosie at 12 o'clock. So Rosie's gone. What? Uh, she had been home all night. What is she? I don't know. Her bed even has been slept in. Go well, find her. Auction day and we'll be in before dawn. Then am I going to laugh right in Savannah this way? That's nothing to what I'm going to do. Off. Must have been cracked, and that's not solution. Anyway, it's gone. Joe, I mean to tell you, Joe, when you save me, I... Oh, I no good. Why you don't let me die? Oh, what's the use? I quit. Don't not quit. You can get a cylinder head up like a key. The speedboat. We can be there back in four hours. Get ready to put a new head on that end. I looked everywhere, nobody's seen her. And that ain't all, your speedboat's gone too. Get your men aboard the Apollo. You see that your better don't get here for the sponge auction tomorrow. Joe, 
No! No! The Apollo! Deimos is going to board her! Deimos! No, they're going to... Ah! didn't we? Blow me down if we didn't. Well, why didn't you use this gun? Why, the darn thing ain't even loaded. It makes some pretty bad shape, Joe. Better take a look at him. Get the engine going. Nick! Nick! Get a blanket. Uh, don't pay any attention to me. I'm not worth it. You've got to get going, Joe. You've got to make that auction. Rosie, hop in that speedboat. Get to the auction and try to get Mr. Clark to wait for it. Flash for your front. Five. Here's your pick. Flag this evening. Come on. Speak up, boys. Six 
sound. Who'll make it step? Who'll make it I've got to talk to you. Gentlemen, I'm not going to let Captain Alex Sponge go for such a ridiculous price. Good sponge is scarce this year. What are you up to? None of your business. You stole my speedboat. Let me alone. Or is your better? Gentlemen, a sponge is a precious thing. It's an intricate process of nature. It is male and female in itself. Did you gentlemen ever hear about the love life of the sponge? <laughs> <laughs> Sponge is merely a skeleton, my friend, a gelatinous mass, each minute particle of which is a living creature attached to its mate. And who is to say that there is no romance in a polyp? <laughs> who give me eight thousand? What are you trying to do, Crackett? You can't hold up the circuit any longer. It's against the rules. I'm the auctioneer here, Savannah, not you. I make my own rules. When this auction closes, these buyers can't get any more sponge for another year. $8,500. If you want to declare this auction closed, I do. You may run this town, Savannah, but not this auction. This auction is still open. I'll bring on the next block, Crockett. Well, well, bring on the next block, Crockett. Are we in town? Wait a minute. You all know how Savannah has robbed you? Cheated you? Stolen your boat? Well, he puts me or one of his men on your boats to see that you don't get in with his sponges. Just like he tried to do with Joe. He stole your boat, Athos. Yours, Dimitrios. Yours, Marcus. Put him on over. Bid up, gentlemen. Last but not least, Joe Bethel's boatload of sponge. The finest brought in this year. Six thousand. Six thousand. Do I hear seven? Do I hear seven? Seven thousand. Seven. Seven. Thank you. Seven. Who'll give me eight? Who'll give me eight? Eight thousand. Eight thousand. Eight I got. Who'll give me nine? Nine thousand. Nine thousand. Nine thousand. Who'll say ten? Who'll say ten? Face to face with the ten biggest ten. shark you ever ten seen. Thousand. Ten I got. Who'll give me eleven? Ten I'm over. Who'll say eleven? 